what is up my dog Lawson here. So today's video brought to you by Mystery Tackle Box. If you don't know what Mystery Tackle Box is, their subscription based company sends you a box of lures to your door every month. They have saltwater boxes, bass boxes. There's some, some dandy dandy goodies in here. Crush some fish on that today. So we're gonna be going through the mystery tackle box using a bunch of different lures and seeing if we can catch some fish this morning. We're fishing in a new location that I've never fished before, so everything is kind of up in the air and super super exploratory. So I'm very excited. Also, if you have not signed up for mystery tackle box, go down below. You can get your first box for around five doll hairs. So go down there, scoop that up. But we're gonna work a mangrove line with some artificials, and hopefully stick a big trout, red, and or snook. Oh, there's a fish. What do we got? Oh, snooky, little snooklet. <laughs> Look at this little, little niblet right there. Just a baby, baby snook. That's too funny. All right, well, we at least caught a fish in the new area. So, weight's off our shoulders. Now all we gotta do is catch big fish. We already caught enough fish, we just gotta catch some big fish now. Oh God, I got a fish. There is a big dolphin over there. He went the other way direction, thankfully. I think we're good, he swam off in the other direction. It's a nice trout I got on too. I would hate for the dolphin to eat this thing. All right. Oh gosh, he's coming towards us. Let me flip this thing in. Oh my gosh, it's a big trout too. All right, that's crazy. First good fish in the morning, probably like a 19, 20 inch trout. Maybe, I don't know, maybe like 18, 20. Beautiful, I am glad we got him in quick for the dolphin. Uh, we're going to try to release him, but this dolphin is literally cruising around the back of our boat like 10 feet behind it now, just waiting for me to release this trout. I'm going to try to release it really quietly and gently right here. He didn't see it. Awesome. Oh, look at him cooking. I think he hears it moving. Get out of here. We <laughs> Oh no. I don't think he's after our trout. I hope not. I mean, he very well could be, I guess, but. We lucked out with that. He, he must have heard something or saw something, and he was just like really slowly cruising across that flat, and I even told Chelsea, I'm like, just watch, if we hook something good, this thing's gonna come steamlining over towards us. And he started making his way in the other direction right when I hooked that fish. And so I got the fish in and the thing turned around and was like circling the boat like a shark, just looking for whatever we caught. They are beautiful things, but they're kind of annoying. <laughs> So many finger mullet right here. Oh, a uh, bit of a accidental bycatch. <laughs> a bit of a accidental bycatch in the net right there. <laughs> the old blowfish. What a sweet boy. <laughs> Is that, oh God. <laughs> Is that the craziest thing you've ever seen? Ready? Doink. You know what? I'm gonna try something a little different here for a second. We caught some live mullet earlier. So I'm gonna hook up the old twitch bait.
there's a ton of finger mullet rolling around everywhere so i netted some earlier and now he's got a little j-hook 60 pound flora which might be a little heavy for the current moment but it's what i had rigged up for snook fishing and then got the komodo and our favorite big sexy and so all we're going to do is cruise down this mangrove line nice and slow and just gently throw the mold up in areas that look good Ooh, there's a little snook underneath them. <laughs> Had a few little snook come out and pop this finger mold, but not even big enough to actually even eat this little finger mold. Like literally, like little 12 inches. I'm just waiting to pitch it up into a mangrove hole and just hear a poof, absolute blaster. All right, we have uh, gone a little lighter on our setup here. Went from 60 to 30 pound and went from a big giant, like, bait cast or swim bait reel to just a nice 4,000. This would be probably more appropriate size for most of the fish that will catch pitching live finger mullet. What's hard though is that, I mean, there's nothing stopping a 45 inch snook from smashing a finger mullet, you know? So if we hook an absolute giant, we might be uh, screwed here, but we'll figure it out. I'd rather hook the giant than not hook him, you know what I mean? Jeez, man, I'm throwing like perfect little live finger mullet. I can't even get a bite. Oh, something tried to eat it way up in there. Dang, son. Let's try that again. Okay. Hold up real quick. Oh my God! I just got smoked. Finally got a freaking bite and I missed it. And I freaking missed it. There it is. <laughs> Little snook. There we go. Finally, man, that was that was a long minute without a fish there. He's not even very big, but nice little finger mullet slurper. He's barely hooked. Oh my gosh. <laughs> beautiful this guy he was i guess it's not too bad but hooked very weirdly <laughs> outside in yeah there we go beautiful snook right there he's probably like i don't know 22 inches long he is fat across the back this boy has been eaten well what a beautiful little fish you know i expected today to be tough we're fishing a new area that i've literally never been before in my entire life and uh you don't know the spots you know you don't know what's gonna work but i know some some basic basic things that should work you know live bait is always a good key when you're fishing a new area for the first time because You get a lot less rejections when you're fishing live bait and so it makes it a little bit easier on you when you're just trying to first learn an area and so you know we we scoured some flats on artificials this morning caught small snook caught a nice trout and now we've been flipping these little live finger mullet which i mean are candy like everything wants to eat a little finger mullet but it's still been tough and that's just what it's like learning a new area don't be discouraged when you go out to fish a new place and you don't slay a giant your first time it doesn't mean the spot's no good it just means you need to put some time in and learn it and that's basically what today's been all about so snook down we are gonna put on a fresh little moly and maybe flip here for another 30 minutes or so and then we're gonna call it a morning Alrighty, snook released back up on the cooler retied mullet re-rigged we should be back in the business here i would love to catch like one or two more fish and then We'll get out of here because we got a long drive home.
I already got eaten. There it is again. Nice. I think that's a red. I don't think it's big, but that was the first pitch after re-rigging. Oh, that is our red fish. And we, my friends, have just uh, completed a little bit of a slam, if you will. Trout, redfish, snook. A beautiful little inshore slam right there. And this fish is lit up red. Not red, he's lit up blue. Oh no! Oh, ho, ho. that's okay. He's like an 18 inch redfish. Spoke too soon. I talked about getting the slam and whatnot. That was cool. Whew, that was the first pitch after releasing that snook, man. That's crazy. So, a little breakdown of all we're doing. Right now, my mold's actually dead, which isn't a bad thing necessarily. The first fish that I missed on the finger mullet earlier was a dead mullet and it works pretty well sometimes you know if you really aren't getting bites put a live one if you have them but don't throw your bait off because they're dead because when they're dead you can skip them really well and i almost just work them in there like a jerk bait and now i'm going to stop talking because my mullet flew off my hook <laughs> all right boys and squirrels i think that'll do it we got a long drive home so we need to get hit in the road i'll catch up with you guys back at the hoose Boom, back home at the house. You know, it was not a super, super easy day of fishing. Probably fished for, I don't know, four and a half, five hours, and only caught a handful of fish here and there, but it was still super fun because it's always cool pushing yourself to learn a new area. But one of the things about making videos for you guys is that it's kind of hard to convince yourself to go try somewhere completely new because if it sucks or you don't figure out the fish, I don't have a video to show you guys. So it was like, it can be really hard to go out and try new areas because it's not always the most effective thing for trying to make videos, but it's really the only way you're ever going to become a better angler is by pushing yourself to try new techniques, new areas, target new fish. And that's really what we did today in this video. And I didn't crush any giants, but I never really expect to trying to find the fish somewhere new, but it was cool. and. Like I kind of mentioned in the video, when you're breaking down a new area, yeah, it's always super fun to throw artificials, and that's what we started out with, and we threw artificials with the mystery tackle box and caught a nice trout, which even though the trout wasn't as big as the snook, I would say the trout was the nicest fish of the day. But when you're trying to figure a new area, sometimes it really pays off to just catch some live mullet or bring some live shrimp, and it makes it a lot easier kind of get a deal and figure out what's going on, and then once you start to figure out, okay, there's fish here and they're way up in the mangroves. You know, okay, when I go back and I throw artificials, I can burn some swim baits under there, toss some artificial shrimp up under there, and you kind of can really start to narrow down an area. And that's really cool, and that's gonna help you become a better fisherman is finding new places to fish so you don't burn up your old spots. Anyways, that is it for today, guys. I appreciate the heck out of you. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like. Make sure you click the subscribe button below and that'll keep you up to date whenever I post a video. That's it. We're done. I appreciate you guys. Until the next one. Peace.